Hello everybody, I'm the Amazing Ferret and I have a few tips I wanted to share with you guys today considering uh, bug bounties. I've not been hunting for a really long time, I've only been doing it for a couple of weeks but I've found a few issues already um, and I found a few issues that uh, I think are not easy to find using other methods so I wanted to share these issues with you guys. Uh, and also how I go over the different projects that I target. There are many, many different programs out there. Uh, my platform, the one I use personally, is Integrity. Uh, I'm, uh, I like that platform a lot because there are a lot of Belgium companies in there and I'm from Belgium. Uh, I go, always go for the projects that ban the automated scanners. I really don't like automated scanners. Um, for one thing, they give a false sense of security. Um, there are certain things that automated scanners cannot pick up. Uh, you can try a lot of things, but uh, right now AI is not advanced enough to start uh, applying logic to your target. So you'll have to think a lot when uh, setting up these automated scanners. And a mistake I see a lot of people make is they set up their automated scanners uh, thinking that the default rules will cover everything that they will need, but often that's not the case. Default rules are just like the word says, they're default. Uh, you have to make your own methodology in bug bounty hunting. You cannot just go online and look up. For example, Jason Haddix, he made an amazing methodology video called, um, let me see, the first iteration I think was how to shot web. Uh, and his next iterations are bug bounty methodology. I will uh, link that in the video description later on. Um, he gives great talks about that uh, on Buck Routes YouTube channel as well. Um, but going on, um, so I'm not one of the guys that will go online and look at that and go like, oh I'll have to follow this guide because those guys often talk about enumeration, uh, about how to attack your target. But the thing is, if you really want to be successful and if you really want to be the one to find the good issues, you'll have to come up with your own way of testing. Um, all of the... everybody looks up to these guys. Uh, everybody will go to their methodologies, try to pick up a couple of things and apply that to their own work. But a lot of people will try to copy their work one-to-one, -one, which won't work for your case. You'll have a lot of things you'll have to explore for yourself. If you get into bug bounty hunting, you will figure this out. Um, one thing I can tell you is don't go for Google, don't go for Facebook. Those targets are hardened as can be. Um, a lot of people try to target them. A lot of people fail and they give up because they think, oh, I'm not finding anything. But it's just that those targets have been tested properly. You won't really find anything if you're not very experienced. Now, of course, you will always have things like um, acquisitions that will be testable after a few months. Like Google and Facebook after a few months, I think it's six months or something. Uh, any acquisition that they make, you can test that. Also Tesla. Um, but a lot of people are looking for those acquisitions uh, and they will be jumping on that the first chance they get so you'll be last in line for that. Um, also, if you're already following their methodology, it won't help you very much. Um, now, uh, another thing I wanted to go over with, um, don't pick programs that give out big bounty just because they give out big bounty. Make sure you go for programs that will treat you well and that you like. Make sure you go over a program which you will look at and which you will think, oh my god, this is something I know, I can, I can do something with this. For example, when I pick a program, um, I look for sequential IDs. There are certain programs that will use really long obfuscated identifiers for certain items. That's a good thing in security, but I don't like that. I'm not good with that, so I'll go for things that pick sequential IDs because I know I can enumerate those. I can just pick the ID from a previous user I made and just copy paste it, or I can just guess the ID. When it's random, I cannot do that. 
So that's a certain property that I'll always be looking for in my programs. Um, anyway, I hope this guide helped you a little bit in picking your programs. I know it's a little bit short. I'll, make, I'll be making some more guides about bug bounty tips specifically. This one was for picking a program. The next one will be for secondary IDAR. And I'll also be making one for secondary cross-site scripting. Thank you for watching.